Hello dear students and welcome back to physics universe. Now today we are going to solve again new different types of problem. So now in this problem what we are observing if let us say C R denote the capacity and resistance means this problem belongs to electromagnetic induction and the dimensions of CR is asked. Generally, such types of problems are asked from physics part 2. Now, how to solve such problem? So, first of all, what is given over here? Given. So, C and R, its relation that we must know. So, we have one relation for R. R is equal to 1 upon omega C where omega is what angular frequency always keep in mind ok so here this c will come to numerator and therefore over here your same formula will become rc which is equal to 1 upon omega now omega is equal to what 2 pi upon t as you know that time period is equal to 2 pi upon omega therefore omega is equal to 2 pi upon t and now we are going to put it over here Therefore, your dimension of RC is equal to 1 upon 2 pi upon T, which is equal to. Now, see here, denominator's denominator will come to what? Numerator. Therefore, T upon 2 pi. Here, 2 pi is a constant term, which is unitless and dimensionless. Okay? As it is unitless, obviously, it must be what? Dimensionless. Therefore, here your dimensions of RC will be the dimension of T, which is equal to T1. Okay? So, same dimension can also be written like M0, L0, T1. And here, we are having our answer as, uh, uh, yes, C. Right? Now, I hope you will uh, understood the concept. Now let us try to solve the another type of problem where we have to apply more knowledge and more logic over here. If energy E, so here energy E is given, okay, then velocity is what? V, velocity V, this term is given and time T is given, right? So always keep in mind friends, if energy is asked, then you can take potential energy, kinetic energy, uh, the dimension of heat or torque whatever or simply work also because all these terms have same unit and same dimensions. So here I am going to consider kinetic energy 1 half mv square because the dimensions are going to be same as both uh, as all the terms actually are having unit of joule like work, torque, heat, then uh, kinetic energy, potential energy, total energy all these terms are measured in terms of joule. So here mass measured in kilogram whereas velocity is measured in meter per second so its square will become meter square per second square therefore its dimension will be m1 l2 t minus 2 now here next term is what velocity which is measured in meter per second so what should be its dimension meter therefore l1 and second at denominator therefore it will come to numerator t minus 1 right and for time yes Time is always measured in second. Therefore, its dimension will be what? T1. Anyways, we have to take it as a fundamental quantity. Here, what is given? We have to take it as a fundamental quantity, not ML and T. The dimension formula for surface tension is asked. So, surface tension is denoted by sigma, which is equal to force per unit length. Now, my dear students, what is dimensions of force? It is M1, L1, T minus 2 divided by length is measured in what meter therefore here its dimension is what L1 L1 will come to numerator so 1 minus 1 will become 0 which is equal to M1 L0 T minus 2 in this manner you have obtained your dimensions of sigma that is what surface tension so overall here we have obtained all the dimensions now let us try to find out the relation between them that is EV and t as a fundamental quantity so before going to that uh, how we can solve this problem like sigma dimensions of sigma will be equal to dimensions of e and its power will be a dimensions of next term velocity its power we are going to consider as a b and then the dimension of last term that is what time which is 
going to be considered as power c. So now over here, uh, yes, sigma m1 l0 t minus 2, which is equal to what is dimensions of energy m1 l2 t minus 2. Its power will be a. Dimensions of velocity uh, m0 l1 t minus 1. Its power will be what b. And last. Uh, yes time so it's m0 l0 t1 and its power will be what c so now next step we have to multiply all power okay by abc so ultimately this equation will become m raised to power a now b into 0 will become 0 c into 0 will become 0 now l raised to power 2 into a so 2a now 1 into b plus b 0 into c so it will become 0 now next term is what time minus 2 into a minus 2a then minus 1 into b minus b 1 into c plus c okay now in this manner we have obtained all the dimensions and here we have dimensions m1 l0 t minus 2 which is dimension of surface tension now let us compare m with m so its power will become a is equal to 1 now let us compare the power of this L. Therefore, here 2A plus B is equal to what? 0. Now here magnitude of A is what? 1. Put it over here. So 2 into 1 plus B is equal to what? 0. Therefore, see friends here B is equal to what? Minus 2. Now let us put the magnitude of T. Okay. In this manner we have first of all obtained the magnitude of A and B. Now minus 2a minus b plus c is equal to what here power of t and that is what minus 2. So here let us put the magnitude of a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 2 in the same equation. Therefore here we will have minus 2 into 1 minus minus 2 plus c is equal to minus 2 right. Now here minus 2 minus minus plus 2 plus c is equal to minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 will get cancelled therefore c is equal to what minus 2 in this manner my dear students here we have obtained the power of a b and c here we are going to put in the above equation that is what your equation number let us say this one is 1 therefore the sigma can also be written like e raised to power a v raised to power b and t raised to power c which is equal to e raised to what is power a 1 v raised to power b that is what minus 2 and t raised to power minus 2 again. So here uh, in our option e v minus 2 t minus 2 that is what a is correct answer. So this is what your answer and which is equal to a. Hmm. Now my dear students if you want such more example then you can like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.